Hi, fifth graders. This is the how-to video for a theme from London Symphony. This is a song that can be found on page 35 in your book. And the skill that we're working on for this one, just like last week, is our slurs. So I'm going to play through this one, and I'm going to follow all the repeats for this one, and I'll get, I'll get to explaining that with you guys later. So for now, go ahead and listen and just kind of pay attention to what my bow is doing as I change notes. So if you're looking at your book, you may be wondering what in the world those numbers are for there. Okay. So this is called a version of repeats called first and second endings. So if you are following along as you're listening, here's kind of what I did in terms of where I was in the music. So the first time that I played through this song, I started at the beginning, and then I played up to here, and then you'll see the bracket here. You'll notice that there's a number one in that box. So the first time I play this song, this is what I play through for here, because this one has a number two, and I haven't gotten to the second time through yet, so we don't want to do that one quite yet. So first time through, I take the first ending that has the number one. And then at the end of that first ending, you'll see a repeat sign, which is just going to shoot us back to the beginning like repeats usually do. So now we're on our second time through the song. So we're going to play it through the second time, but we already did the first ending. So what we are going to do is ignore that little box with the one in it and go from right here skip ahead to the second ending. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll try it a few times through together. So right now we're gonna learn our notes a little bit and we do have a couple slurs in here. So make sure you're looking out for those curved lines that are connecting those two different notes. So what I wanna do with you first, I will play a measure and then I would like you to repeat that measure back to me. So we're going to start from the beginning of the theme from London Symphony. Everybody should be starting on an A. Cellos, you will be using your open A string. Violins and violas, you should be using four fingers down on your D string. So here is theme from London Symphony. Get your fingers ready to play A. And repeat after me, please. These first two notes have the curved line, so they are going to be slurred together. So we're going to do a down bow for both of them. So listen first and then try to play it back to me. A, G, E. Then you try to play the piece. One, two, ready, go. A, G, E. E. Okay, let's try the second measure. I'll play it first. Get your fingers ready for G. My turn first. Ready, go. G, F sharp, D. And you try to get your fingers ready for G. One, two, ready, go. G. F sharp, D. All right, so for this next measure, we're gonna do a little bit of what's called string crossing. So what we are going to do is use our G string. We're gonna have one finger down on our G string to make that nice low A. And then all we're gonna do is basically rock our finger from our G string 
over to our D string since they both require one finger down. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll kind of stand at an angle so you can kind of watch what my finger is doing. So here's measure three. A, A, B, E. So all I had to do was just kind of switch my fingers back and forth like that. So let's have you try that one. Just rock your fingers from one string to the next one. One, two, rock your fingers, go. A, A, E, E. All right, so since this is our first time through the song, then we are going to take our first ending, the one that has the number one by it. So for our first ending, here is what that sounds like. We're using open D for this one first. Listen first. Ready, go. D, E. So nothing too crazy, just open D and then one finger down. So let's try that together. One, two, together and go. D, E. All right, let's take a look at our Second ending, so that is right here, the very last measure of the song. So all you have to do is play your open D string for two beats, so it'll sound like this. And then we rest, rest. Let's try that one together. Ready, go. All right, let's try it from the beginning. If at any time you need to pause the video and try it on your own, go ahead and do that. I'll give little reminders throughout this one to let you know kind of where we're repeating to because of the first and second endings, because that might be a little funky. So let's try it from the beginning. Get our fingers ready to play that A, please. And we've got some slurs. So we're going to hook those two notes together in the same bow. Let's try it together nice and steady. One, two, ready, go. reminders of where to go when for those repeats. So let's start again from the beginning. Get your fingers ready for A if you're a violin or viola or bass. One, two, ready, go. you can change the speed if you would like to take this on a little slower. But that is how to play the theme from London Symphony. <laughs> 